Hey guys, in this video we're going to update our stat system and this time we will actually change the stats when we equip some items. First thing we need to change is we do have some stats that only using one value like armor, damage, attack speed. They don't have max value basically. And I said in previous video that we can use current stats for that because I wanted to display it correctly. But that doesn't actually make sense because then if max stat is zero it won't let us go past the max value, so it will always be zero. So even if we set it, it will be really annoying with the functions that we have set up because we would have to make an exception for every single stat like that. And there will be a lot of them. So instead we'll use a max uh, stat value for that. And we will just update our stats widget to display it correctly. So what we can do is go to our blueprints and items data table. And here where you got damage, attack speed and armor. If you created some more stats that only using one stat, then you need to change those as well and just change the values from current stat to max stat. So 0 and 10, attack speed 0 and 1.1, iron sword 0 and 20, 0 and 1.2, wooden club 0 and 24, 0 and 1. Rock blade 0 and 10. Steel helmet 0. Now oh, that's health. So armor 0 and 30. Blade armor 0 and 100. Pants 0 and 60. Uh, gloves 0 and 30. And plate boots 0 and 40. I actually do have attack speed here for some reason on boots so I'll change that 0 and 0 0.1. Save it. Now we will go to our stats widget so widget and stats widget and if you remember now basically we would display it as a max armor for example plus 20 and I don't really like that I don't want it to say max in front of those stats. So what we can do here is drag this back, we will get this stat again, and we will switch on stats E. And now what we can do is drag, open this up, drag the is max stat, connect it to armor, and we will set it to false. That way, it will this set stat text will think it's uh, current stat value and it will just display it as a current stat value even though the value will be the same and we can just now connect the damage to this thing as well and attack speed and then rest of them the regular stats we will just connect here and nothing else would change and now every time we just add new stats or something all we have to do is connect it here and this will do it for us instead of just changing all the functions. So compile and save. Now if you were to play the game and check, for example, armor, you got now just armor plus 100 and health, max health still works fine. All right. And now we can create a function that will actually change the stats when we equip items. So go to your stats component, BPC. Mm, create new function. This will be called change stats. This will need the um, input of item info because we need to know which item we're equipping. Mm, item info s. And now we'll grab this item info, break it open, and from the stats, again we need to get keys and values so we get both parts of the map array and the keys again are our stats and values is our current and max connected here and now from the stats do for each loop and we will uh, modify current stat 
the stud we're modifying is this one here and the value we're modifying is we need to drag from values get a copy index will be this one here right click here and split this struct pin and connect the current stat and now we will modify max stat the stat will be again this one here you can redirect it and the value will be the max stat and this is basically all we have to do it's so simple it's such a nice system that with this we basically check for each stat on the item we will modify current stat and modify max stat even even if current stat is zero or max stat is zero it won't do anything because these functions are set up that way and it will work perfectly fine so nice and easy but we also want to use a function to remove stats and instead of creating new one we can just reuse this one and all we have to do in here we will just create input and this will be at add stats and it will be type boolean and now if we adding stats we will set this to true and if we are removing stats like when we unequipping the items we will set it to false instead of this if you don't like the boolean you could also create a numerator like same as we got all these and you could just create two entries and it would be adding stats and removing stats and then add it here as a variable and that way you would have a drop down selection and that would actually look maybe better as well but i don't think that it's necessary to create enumeration so for this just create branch so b and click connect it here if you were to change it to enumeration you would do switch instead otherwise it would be the same so instead of branch you would do switch and i'll connect this here now we need to create new variable this will be local Sorry, create new local variable. This will be local modifier. It will be type. Do we need to do float? Ah, it can be float. And we will set it after this, after true, and we will set it after false. Drag this back a bit. And now, if we adding stats, modifier will be one. If you're removing stats, modifier will be minus one. We will connect back to values and now all we have to do here is multiply this current stat by the local modifier and connect it here and then you can just copy this paste it and we multiply the max stat by local modifier and all this does is changes the value uh, if it's one then it will keep the same value and if it, if it's minus one it will make it negative so we'll remove those stats okay we will compile and save now we just need to find a space where we're going to use this function so let's go to equip item so in player blueprint we got the equip item function and in here all right let's go from the beginning first we're removing attaching items attached items so open that one in the end here after we remove equipment from preview actor we could just connect it here so get the stats component and change stats this is removing items so what we need to do is leave this false and it also needs item info but we got it set here so we set it in the beginning the one problem here is with not checking after if it's valid so it might run actually we're checking it here and only the true branch continues so all good so we set the local info in the beginning and then we're using it here to remove equipment from preview actors so we can connect it here as well compile and save and now go to go back to equip item function and now we attaching item so open that up and after we 
attach all of these. Here we got attach equipment to preview actor. Again, we will get the stats component, change stats, connect it here. And we got item info here as well. So just paste it here. This time make sure we're adding stats because we're equipping item. Compile and save. I don't think we need to do it anywhere else. Now, if we were to play the game, we don't have any way to display the stats yet, but we do have a carry capacity. And if you've done exactly the same as I did in the video, on your pants you got max carry capacity now. So our capacity is now 50 out of 20. If we equip pants, the pants are equipped, so the first value goes down by 8 and second value went up by 20. Did I have it somewhere else? No, that's it. Now when you unequip it, value goes down back to 20 as well. All right. So that's how it works. And now you could change it. You could test it out with print string and it would just print out your stats. So every time you equip items, but I'm confident it's work it works fine. So maybe in next video, we can just make a small display of player stats at least the main ones so we can see it all right and then probably we'll also do play a hat uh, to display health mana and stuff like that here in the game but i'm not really rushing with that because we don't really need it for now all right cool i'll see you in the next video